Origin 9 provides high-performance 3D graphing using OpenGL. Here I have two sets of data. In the matrix, I have land representing Lake Ontario, and in the worksheet, I have the water surface level. I'm going to plot both of these as intersecting surfaces. I begin with the matrix and choose Plot, 3D Surface, Color Map Surface. To add the XYZ data to the graph, I double click on the layer icon, choose that data set, and move it into the layer contents. Now to customize the graph, I simply double click on it, which will open up the Plot Details dialog. Let's modify properties of the XYZ data set first. Let's change our fill color to blue to represent water. Let's turn off the contour lines. Let's disable the mesh and let's turn on a transparency. Let's now modify properties of the surface of the land. So I go to color map. I'm going to adjust the levels. I'm going to load a different color palette. And I'm going to also hide the contour lines. Disable the mesh and turn on sidewalls. Now let's turn off the planes, which is at the layer level x, y, y, z, and z, x. Now we're left with just the data plot. 3D plots also have a lighting feature. I can use the lighting control dialog to turn on lighting. I can now click outside the data plot which selects the layer frame and gives me this set of toolbar buttons here. We can pin this. Let's go ahead and use the resize option, which will let me resize in either direction, Z, Y, or X. Let's shrink in the Z direction. We can rotate about any axis. Origin also provides a free rotation tool, which you can access anytime by simply holding down the R key. There's also the zoom and pan tools. Let me demonstrate both of these tools here. I position the mouse on the graph. If I wish to zoom in, I simply hold down the A key and the pointer changes to the hand. I use the mouse scroll wheel to zoom in. Once zoomed in, I may want to rotate a bit. I can simply switch and hold down the R key and now use the mouse to rotate. I can switch back to the A key. We can zoom in further. We can pan. Easily switch back to rotation if needed and rotate a bit further. Switch back and I can zoom out. Use the mouse scroll wheel again to zoom out and pan. Using the key combinations A and R and toggling between the two to rotate and both zoom and pan, I hope you've seen how easy it is to visualize your data. This concludes this presentation. Thank you for watching.